सो लेट एस सॉल्व क्वेश्चन नंबर एट एन सी आर एक्सरसाइज क्लास ट्वेल्व फिजिक्स टू पॉइंट चार्जेस क्यू ए एंड क्यू बी आर लोकेटेड ट्वेंटी सेंटीमीटर अपार्ट इन वैक्यूम सो सिंस दीज आर इक्वल एंड ऑपोजिट चार्जेस इट इज अ डाईपोल सो क्यू ए लेट एस से दिस इज पॉइंट क्यू ए एंड दिस इज पॉइंट क्यू बी चार्ज क्यू बी सो दिस इज प्लस थ्री माइक्रोकुलूम and this is minus 3 microcoulomb they are separated by what distance uh, 20 cm apart in vacuum so vacuum here represents we have to use permittivity epsilon not what is the electric field at the midpoint o of the line ab joining the two charges so this is the ab line this is the midpoint of the line joining the two charges so we have to calculate what is the electric field now you know very well that uh, if it is a positive charge the electric field will be away from the positive charge and if it is a negative charge the electric field due to the negative charge will be towards the negative charge so here since both the fields due to plus and due to minus are acting along the same direction then the net electric field can be written as e net is equal to e plus vector plus e minus vector now what is this e plus and e minus e plus is the electric field due to the positive charge and e minus is the electric field due to the negative charge so let me consider this direction as i cap okay so when we substitute the values we have just have to consider the direction alone okay no need to substitute for charge as negative because already we have considered the direction okay no need to substitute minus q again when you are substituting in the formula so here the formula for the electric field due to a single charge is e is equal to k q by r square is yes or no so this is a general equation for electric field due to a single point charge here are two charges so the net electric field e net is going to be k into k is common so k into what is q here q is 3 micro coulomb isn't it so 3 into 10 to the power of minus 6 uh, divided by r now what is the distance between o and a so the distance between o and a will be 10 cm okay so same way the distance between o and b will be 10 cm because it is the midpoint so here i can write 10 into 10 to the power of minus 2 the whole square so that is our r square so then similarly i can write here what is the direction here this is i cap direction because it is in the right right side we have chosen right as the i cap okay then plus k into what is the charge just take the magnitude so it is going to be 3 into 10 to the power of minus 6 divided by 10 into 10 to the power of minus 2 the whole square into once again i cap so here you have to uh, be very careful whenever we are dealing with vectors okay there is no need to consider the um, sign of the charge if you have already uh, taken account of the direction then don't repeat the uh, the sign again okay don't enter the sign again so you can see that these two are same uh, magnitude so i can simply write electric field e net is equal to 2 times k into 3 into 10 to the power of minus 6 divided by 10 in 10 power minus 2 is 10 power minus 1 the whole square will be 10 to the power of minus 2 into i cap so this is our answer so finally we will just simplify it and write the final answer so it is going to be 2 into what is k value 9 into 10 to the power 9 so it will be 18 into 10 power 9 into 3 into 10 to the power of minus 6 plus 2 okay so the final value will be e net is equal to 54 into 10 to the power of 6 am i correct 4 10 to the power of 5 newton per coulomb so if you want to write in the scientific notation we can write e net is equal to 5.4 into 10 to the power of 6 newton per coulomb this is our answer the second half of the question is if a negative test charge of magnitude 1.5 10 to the minus 9 coulomb is placed at this point what is the force experienced by the test charge okay so let us place a negative test charge so here we are having plus 3 micro coulomb and here you will have minus 3 micro coulomb so 
this is the point o so what will be the force experienced okay so force is generally written as q into electric field okay so what is the electric field at this point that is going to experience just now we have calculated so if we uh, how much is the value given 1.5 10 power minus 9 coulomb right so we will have f uh, experienced is equal to q into e net e net is the electric field at that point okay so f vector is equal to 1.5 into 10 to the power of minus 9 into 5.4 into 10 to the power of 6 that's all so this will give you your answer so 1.5 can be written as 3 by 2 and if you cancel this you will have 2.7 2.7 into 3 will be 8.1 into 10 to the power of minus 3 newton so the value will be f vector is equal to here you can put one i cap okay f vector is equal to 8.1 into 10 to the power of minus 3 i cap newton clear children